Hi, this is M from WCCF Tech, and NVIDIA should be awarded for having the most pointless and slowest GPU of 2022 in the form of the GeForce GT 1010. The card was reported to be in the works a whole year ago, and today the graphics card has finally shown itself in the Geekbench database, which means that it's about time to hit retail shelves. The GeForce 1010 was listed over at NVIDIA's driver webpage under the GeForce 10 series family. The GeForce 1010 also shares the same architecture as the GeForce 10 series Pascal, but an entry-level chip which is the GP108 model. This chip features 256 CUDA cores which are clocked at a base frequency of 1228 MHz and a boost clock of 1468 MHz. The card also features 2GB of GDDR5 VRAM which runs across a 64-bit bus interface. The card will feature an exceedingly low TDP of 30 watts, so it won't rely on any external power connectors to boot, so you can easily tell that it sits below the GeForce GT 1030 and is the successor to the GT 710. So coming straight to the performance numbers, the GeForce GT 1010 being a cut down version of the GT 1030 is around 35% slower on average in the Geekbench benchmark and over 3000% slower when compared to the flagship GeForce GTX 3090. Considering that this is an entry level GPU based on a 6 year old GPU architecture, that's unfortunately to be expected. But the card is also slower compared to integrated Iris XE GPUs, which can score over 14,000 points in the same benchmark, or be twice as fast as the GT 1010. So that begs the question, why NVIDIA? Well, the most obvious answer is display connectivity. The card could find use in several OEM PCs and DIY setups that require extra display outputs, and the card should rock at least two of them, one DVI and one HDMI. As such, it could end up as a useful solution for HTPC setups that don't feature display outputs or require some extra power for video playback and streaming, but if you plan on playing any games on the NVIDIA GeForce 1010, then you're going to be very disappointed. The card will retail under the $40 US price point, but what do you think? Is the GeForce GT 1010 a card worth getting, even if it's just for display connectivity? Let us know in the comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe for more fantastic tech news.